and welcome to ABC's with Beverly. I'm Beverly and I'm at the Hearst Public Library. And last week we talked about the ABC's in general. Can you remember the song that we learned? Let's do it right now. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. And that's how we start our alphabets at ABC's with Beverly. But there's a verse that'll come each week, depending on what letters we use. So this week, and some apples, A, 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 balls are bouncing, B, B, B. Those are the letters you will see. They start the alphabet, my darling. And we will start with A, airport. Maybe this is a place you like to visit. This is by Byron Barton and it is brought to us thanks to Harper Collins. Thanks for letting us use your books. In buses and in cars, people come to the airport. They come to fly in big jet planes. In the waiting room, they sit and wait. While outside, their planes get loaded and checked. A lot has to happen before you can fly on an airplane. Suitcases go into the cargo hold and fuel goes into the wings. Here's the cargo hold and the wings have all the fuel in them right there. And then the people go on board, maybe just like you. Maybe you get to fly on a plane this summer. They go inside and find their seats. Up front in the cockpit, the pilots get ready. The control tower radios when all is clear. Buckle your seat belts, the flight attendant says. Attendant is another good A word. The big plane starts rolling slowly to the runway. Control power tower to pilot, all clear for takeoff. And they roar down the runway faster and faster. Then up in the air. And they are on their way. And you know where they're headed? To another airport. And that is Airport by Byron Barton. Thanks to Harper Collins. Okay, let's do the traditional alphabet song before we get to our B book. Are you ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I've sung my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Sometimes my fingers don't pay attention to the words that I'm saying, but you'll figure it out. And our next story with a B focus is The Big Red Barn. And it's by Margaret Wise Brown, whose name also starts with a B. And the pictures are by Felicia Bond. Her last name starts with a B too. And this is also brought to us by Harper Collins. They're helping us out with our ABCs this week, aren't they? By the big red barn in a great green field, there was a pink pig who was learning to squeal. There was a great big horse, big is another good B word, and a very little horse. Can you see the big horse and the little horse there? And on every barn is a weather vane, of course. A 
golden flying horse. And there was a big pile of hay and a little pile of hay. And that is where the children play. But in this story, the children are away. Only the animals are here today. Animals is a good A word. We already talked about A. The sheep and the donkey, the geese and the goats are making funny noises down in their throats. What does the sheep say? Bah! That's a good B word too. And the donkey, hee-haw, hee-haw. And the geese, honk. And the goats, nah. And an old scarecrow was leaning on his hoe. And a field mouse was born in a field of corn. Can you see the little tiny mouse over here? Really tiny. In the barn, there was a rooster and a pigeon, too. Woohoo! And a big white hen standing on one leg, and under their hen, there was a quiet egg. There was a bantam rooster and a bantam hen and a big clutch of eggs. Count them, they're 10. Can you count to 10 with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good job. cock a doodle doo moo, moo. There was a big brown cow and a little brown cow. And there was an old black cat Meow, meow. And a tiger tomcat. Yow, yow. There was a big red dog. Bow wow. And some little puppy dogs. All round and warm. And they all lived together in the big red barn. And they played all day in the grass and the hay. And when the sun went down in the great green field, the big cow lowed and the little pig squealed. The horses stomped in the sweet warm hay and the little donkey gave one last bray. Then the hens were sleeping on their nests and even the roosters took a rest. And the little black bats, that's another good B word, flew away out of the barn at the end of the day. And there they were all night long, sound asleep in the big red barn. Only the mice were left to play rustling and squeaking in the hay while the moon sailed high in the dark night sky. Thank you for joining me with ABCs with Beverly. See you next time. Mm -hmm.